welcome back you guys welcome back to another video i hope you guys had a blissful weekend all right in the kitchen today we have your steak we have strip loin steak we also have some trimmy trimmy sauce we also have some sauteed asparagus and some parsnip mashed potato puree i want to say mash i would just say potato puree because it's creamy and nice and it just melts in your mouth um this is a good delightful dinner that i'm doing tonight you know on a monday something to like to have something not too you want you want to do something fine and all good and all but anyways i'm making this today something to really do if you have not already subscribe to my youtube channel subscribe 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 so you can check out all my videos also make sure you turn on your post notifications so when i'm dropping a video you guys will know that it's me only me and also like comment share with your fellow peers sheller people whatever you call it just share like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so already you already know i got my Hold on. Let's get into this kitchen. Let's get it popping. Let you go. So I'm back in the kitchen. So today we're making the cherry cherry sauce. So I'm taking my parsley. Let's see, add it into the mixed tonic. Then throw that in there. Then next, we're gonna add some shallots, garlic, and oregano. Then I mix this together. It's a uh, red wine vinegar and some olive oil. This, you slowly pour it in to give it like a most fine, sort of kind of like a vinaigrette, as you would. You can add um, some red pepper flakes. Probably got to get a little bit more oil for the way I want it to be. I'm slowly adding some olive oil. I'm trying to put it in the camera. Slowly add some olive oil. That should be enough to add to your chimichurri. Want some salt action going on? You want some pepper action? Mix it together. Then, as usual, you always taste your food as you go, so make sure that it's good to flake. So let me go get my spoon and taste it. So got my spoon. Mmm, that's a good consistency. It's nice. You, you can taste the vinegar. And you can taste all the other main components that's layered in the dish. So I'm just going to put this to a side. Add this for later. Next, clean off my station. Next, we have your steak. And so for my steak, I like to season it. So you take some salt. Then you take some pepper. Then you flip it to the other side and do the same thing. 
I got these steaks for a decent price. So, some pepper. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this on a flat top grill. Along the way, melodies we haven't played. No, I don't want no rest. And then add the butter. Then we wanna add asparagus. Look a nice little saute action. Saute action. Want the butter like melt in the asparagus? And of course, you already know I gotta season my food as I go along. Salt, pepper. Cook it on low so it can like slowly roast because you don't want to cook it on high. Because if you cook it on high, then the asparagus will start to turn and turn burnt brown and burnt. You don't want that, you just want a nice, good, shiny green color. So I'm gonna let that cook for if it's on low, I'm gonna let it cook for about eight minutes. You gotta keep, uh, you know, making sure all the butter is the asparagus and making sure you gotta keep turning it constantly so it doesn't burn. One key thing I learned in sauteing, I always wanna keep making sure you move the pan. You gotta keep moving the pan around. I mean, I like to flip it all, you gotta extra stuff. But to make sure everything evenly won't be burnt. So next we're going to check on our potatoes and see if they're ready to be pureed. me a good whisk so it can but some people tend to do it old school for that arm workout I'm trying to my stuff as I'm doing this so like I said I should put a little by little one for that splatter Two, to make sure there's a good consistency of three minutes from the potatoes. And also, I still have my compound butter left over from my steak. I add in there. Plus, it has a lot of good flavors in it. Let's also add it. Nice, good consistency like mashed potatoes. I'm to make sure 
felt like there was no like chunks. There was no chunks left in my mashed potatoes. Everything I always do. Season my food. Salt. Pepper. With pork. Then last I have is some chives for like a garnish. So chives are cute. Give a little onion flavor. Plus I have to taste to make sure that the consistency is there. So we're going to get a good taste. Potatoes are definitely very creamy. I just need a tad bit more salt. And a tad bit more pepper. Other than that, the potatoes are nice and fluffy and delicious. Oh, we got another spoonful. Yep, potatoes are well seasoned, well balanced. <coughs> All the layers are there. I'm gonna choke. So now, <coughs> now let's show the asparagus so we can start plate plating. <laughs> and the steak is nicely well rested. So, so I got my little good old wooden cutting board. I'm gonna cut the steak at a bias. Means at an angle. So we wanna see a nice good medium, medium rare. So typically a good little pink color. You see how it tastes? Mmm. It's really good. Well seasoned, well prepared. So we're gonna push our steak up forward. First have a good, a good white. Hey guys that was it of the video if you have liked the video like comment and subscribe below if you have any more recommendations of dishes you guys want me to try i'm all ears i'm all open i'm all ears um follow me on all my social media pages it's gonna be in the link below down below low anyways thank you guys so much for tuning into my video Posting some more stuff soon. Be on the lookout. And we'll be doing some new menus coming up. Be on the lookout for that too. That's all I really have to say. And good night.